Cheyenne, Wyoming is the home of F.E. Warren Aft, part of the Yusuf's Global Strike Command and command of all U.S. ICBMS. But before Wyoming had the power to eradicate mankind, it had the power to eradicate Crow Creek Indians. Fort D.A. Russell was built to help protect railroad workers from the local native tribes. They were undeniably good at it, massacring many of the Crow Creek, and for the last 100 years, people reported seeing uniformed cavalry troops patrolling the base at night to keep the natives at bay. The fun doesn't end there. Warren is supposedly one of the most haunted places in Wyoming, maybe even America. The ghost of Gus Quarters is doomed to live on Warren Aft. Legend has it a man named Gus was caught in bed, with an officer's wife. To escape the angry husband, Gus jumped out of a second-story window, accidentally hanging himself on a clothesline and becoming Jody for all eternity. Troops on the base report unexplained doors and cupboards opening and closing on their own, believing it was Gus Quarters, looking for his pants after all these years. Building 2283, on Kadena is a single-family home for field-grade officers that currently sits vacant, not because there aren't enough O5s at Kadena, but legend has it because the spectral samurai warrior that occasionally rides through the house. Other sightings at 2283, have included a woman washing her hair in the sink, a curtain opening in front of a tour group, a phone ringing despite there, not being a phone line connected to the house, and lights and faucets turning on by themselves which would surely drive the samurai ghost father of the house insane thinking about the water bill. Residents of the house have reported bloodstains on the carpet and curtains, as well as an unearthly chill in one of the rooms, the room where a real teenage girl was stabbed to death by her stepfather. Another account alleges a Marine Corps officer bludgeoned his wife in the house. Conveniently, there's a day care center next door, and both are across the street from an Okinawan samurai warrior's tomb. Widely considered the most paranormally active site in the U.S. Army, Leavenworth has upward of 36 haunted buildings. One guardhouse, Tower 8 of the old disciplinary barracks that was torn down in 2004, still stands. A soldier who committed suicide with his service shotgun inside Tower 8 will sometimes call the guard control room. Maybe for an aspirin. After a prisoner uprising during WWE, guards executed one of 14 prisoners every hour but ran out of room on the gallows. So they used the elevator shaft in the administration building as an extension. Now soldiers report hearing screams from the elevator when no one else is around. As novel as the idea of a centuries-old, haunted, and abandoned prison might be for ghosts, the most haunted area is called the Rookery. The building was once the base commander's quarters, but was turned into family housing, and people still live there. The Rookery is said to house a number of ghosts. The lady in white was supposedly tortured, and killed by local tribes while the soldiers were off post. She screams and chases people, she sees in the night. You don't have to chase us, lady. The screaming was enough. Also in the Rookery Air Match. Edmund Ogden, who is presumably in command of all the ghosts in the building, and died in 1855, a young girl named Rose, her nanny, and a young man called Robert. Rose whistles around the house, while Ogden seems to, just walk around all day in spurred boots. It said that match. Ogden once asked a team of ghost hunters to leave his house. What is today a dental clinic, once housed a children's tuberculosis clinic, and in the basement below was a morgue. Some of the staff reported seeing apparitions of small children playing in the building at night or hiding objects. One ghost is less than playful, a teenage girl has been reportedly seen walking around the hospital, her face sliced open, talking to herself and searching for the person, who cut her. The 18th wing at Kadena sports a yellow patch with a chicken prominently featured with its wings in the air, seemingly surrendering. This urban legend has it that during the Korean War, the 18th wing's pilots abandoned their crew chiefs as the base was being overrun. The maintainers were then hung with safety wire by the enemy. The safety wire is still supposedly hanging in Ozon. This is a very old Air Force urban legend. Why would the Air Force keep the wire hanging? Aside from questionable decorations, a better reason not to believe this myth is that the patch has been around since 1931, when the 18th Wing was the 18th Pursuit Squadron. The famous poet died in Baltimore of a mysterious illness whose symptoms match those of rabies. 
While he was alive, however, he was stationed at Monroe as an artilleryman. Other ghosts said to reside at Fort Monroe include Abraham Lincoln, Jefferson Davis, Ulysses S. Grant, and Chief Black Hawk. Abraham Lincoln gets around in his afterlife. It's good to stay active when when you're 208 years old. The Beatberg School is run by Dodd Dependence Schools Europe. Beatberg Middle School was constructed in Beatberg Air Base as housing in 1956, supposedly on the site of a Nazi airbase. It's also consistently rated as one of the most haunted places in Germany, sharing that list with a pagan ritual altar and the Dachau concentration camp. As if it weren't enough to be full of ghosts, there are also Nazi ghosts, which is way more frightening. Lights constantly flash on and off throughout the night, windows move on their own, and oh yeah, people are heard screaming at the top of their lungs throughout the building. Only at night. The Hornet is the most haunted ship in the Navy. In 27 years, the ship lost 300 of her men to accidents and suicides. Tourists and sailors alike report strange voices and apparitions of sailors in outdated, uniforms, roaming the halls of the ship. Radios and other equipment on the vessel, are said to turn on, and off on their own. If any reader is interested in seeing the ghost crew of the Hornet, you can now pay to sleep aboard. The WWE era ship was decommissioned in 1970. Now moored in San Francisco, people can tour its most paranormally active areas. The Old Gate 3 at Cadena was said to be frequented by a WA-era soldier covered in blood, asking for a light for his cigarette. That gate was eventually closed and a new one is being built in its place. Which is crazy, because he could easily solve a manpower issue. Would you approach a gate man by ghosts? Me neither. He might be looking for any number of Japanese soldiers who were once said to approach the gate in the 1990s. They approached so many times, it was recorded in the 2000 book Ghosts of Okinawa. The gate was closed because I can only assume it's terrifying. The Bayview Complex at Gitmo was originally built in 1943 as the Base Officers Club. Now there are four spirits who are there for eternity to occupy the upstairs terrace room. A woman in white is an old woman with long hair and a long white dress. She sits in a chair and looks out into the parking lot. She also switches lights on and off when no one is in the club. It is said the woman lived in an apartment in the club until she was found dead in a bathtub there. She has a decent view, though. The wives of base commanders have also reported a man in khakis walking from the living room of the Co's residence to the bathroom. In 2007, Paula Leary, who was in the house at the time said she believed the ghost just wanted to know there was someone else in the house. The area where the house stands was the site of marine camps from 1901 until 1920, so it may not just be any khaki chief walking around, but a salty old marine. The two eighths marines in Hellman reported figures speaking Russian at Observation Point Rock. They found graves at the site, a place in Hellman considered cursed by the locals because of the unending amount of bones that are constantly dug up there. The Marine's story is now an episode of Sifi's Paranormal Witness. The rock as it came to be known, was the reported site of Afghan Mujahideen, executing Russian soldiers during the Russian occupation. Because of the bones and the strange sightings, it soon became known as the Haunted Op. But it wasn't just the Marines seeing, or hearing things. The ex welch guards who came to the Op before the Marines reported strange noises and unexplainable lights in their night vision.